Hi everyone, nice to see you again. Still at my uh, one of my favourite places, just enjoying the sunshine and the wind blowing my hair. I love it. There's a little track down here that I walk up and down quite often, and along here. And this is my favourite gate and the field. And this is the gate that I lean on and look across the fields often. I turn around because I can't see. Cause it's under my eyes. Um, yeah. So um, latest vlog, I was mentioning about how we should not forget the Lord's benefits and we should um, continually thank Him, even in difficult circumstances. Actually, because um, some of the rest of the verse, are just following the verse that I mentioned in Psalm 103, verse two, it then goes on to talk about some of the benefits that God has given us. Um, and I posted that in my last vlog. But then the next verse, I think it's verse four or five, I'll put the, the reference in. As I was actually reading it, it did make me smile because um, in the last few days I've had another birthday and actually made history, I would say. I like to say I've made history because I am one of the first people who have had two birthdays in lockdown. So although officially lockdown happened or the first lockdown in England was two days after my birthday last year in 2020, um, everything is shut down. So cafes, pubs, restaurants, coffee shops, everything is shut down, hairdressers. Um, so the official announcement was um, two days after my birthday, but everything is shut. So it's like there was already lockdown. Um, so we are again in a third lockdown in England, officially in a third lockdown. And um, my birthday fell in that. So I have made history by having two birthdays in lockdown. Yay! So yeah, no, but the verse in uh, Psalm 103, verses down from where I was reading says that it the, the, the Lord that God satisfies your years with good things and he renews your youth like the eagles and I just thought Do you know what I just don't think it's a coincidence that as I was reading Psalm 103 and reflecting on the fact that we a year on into um, lockdown we need to continually just praise God and thank God for the good things that he's given us um, and there are so many of those you know forgiveness healing um, so many things that God has given us um, loving kindness you know it talks about that in Psalm 103 as well um, but this next verse like I say it talks about how God satisfies your years with good things and he renews your youth like the eagles and I just thought great I'll take that because you know another year on and um, one of the things that I have struggled with in the last few years is the fact that you know I'm not saying I'm old I still consider myself young but I am aware that things are changing for me physically and um, I'm very aware of that and sometimes uh, my body is uh, doesn't really function quite in the way I want it to but you know thank God I'm actually in a better place now physically and mentally and emotionally than I was a year ago um, so that's another thing I can thank God for and I really do I really do thank God for that you know that I'm well enough to actually come for a walk and enjoy the sunshine and you know um, well enough to actually go for a jog when I motivate myself to actually go for a jog but yeah um, yeah I'm well enough to do all of that so you know even though a year has gone by and not not a lot has seemed to change physically in terms of lockdown I am aware that God has done so much in my life so so many good things that I can thank God for and I am now I've just really felt impressed in the last few days again to start writing down all of the blessings you know and I, I think I'm just going to leave a space because I think Holy Spirit that God is going to keep reminding me of all of the blessings in the last year in 2020 and then coming into this year 2021 so yeah I'd encourage you just um, don't focus on the immediate circumstances because they will change but God is eternal and his benefits last forever so I just thought I would leave that thought with you for today and I'll see you soon. Bye.